Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got Why Didn't Turkey Fight in World War II? This is from History Matters. Let's jump straight into this one, man. World War II was fought by every major and middle power in the world, and very few parts of it were left unscarred. There is one notable exception to this, the Republic of Turkey. Now, whilst they did nominally declare war in 1945, just as Germany was about to fall, its soldiers never saw combat, and to put it frankly... Yeah, Turkey's pretty close to all of this as well. War. So how did Turkey manage to stay out of the war for so long? And even when it did join, it only did so under direct pressure, and because without doing so, it would be sidelined in the post-war world. It's crucial to remember hey, that they in just, the years they didn't want to fight, man. That was it. Turkey was still they recovering it. from its war of independence, which did tremendous damage to the country. This was followed by major reforms in a period of the country's first president, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, attempting to strengthen Turkey's global position. Turkey's right. position was a strange one, since in 1939 you were often either a great power or a colony, and Turkey was neither. As such, it was able to forge its own course and was capable of resisting its larger neighbours. Is way that what Turkey was doing? It was a boat. In October of 1939, shortly after the outbreak of the war, Turkey signed a mutual assistance pact with Britain and France which made it pretty clear that Turkey leant towards the Allied camp. The reason why Turkey was less friendly towards the Axis wasn't because of some dislike for Germany, since the There's two nations flying, actually yeah. had good Fuck. relations. <laughs> it was in fact down to Turkish-Italian tensions due to Mussolini wanting to dominate the Mediterranean. So, the mutual assistance pact wasn't the same as joining the Allies. It saw Britain give Turkey a lot of money to modernise and increase the size of its army. Turkey was still determined to stay out of the war, though, as demonstrated by Yo, President... Yo, I know what Turkey wanted to do, bro. They wanted to take all the money from from Britain, right? Get their, get their, you know, their power up a little bit, modernize the country, and get the uh, military up a bit. I just didn't want to fight at all, bro. They were just using them. They're, they're, they're smart, that, bro. For us, war is That's out of smart. the question unless we are left absolutely no choice. This is why, despite Britain and France being at war with Germany, Turkey still continued to trade with both sides. Still, what? the Turkish weren't interested in fighting wow, war, in which there was little benefit for themselves. Make no mistake, though, if Turkey had to choose, it would pick Britain and a staunch ally France, who had just capitulated, and also Italy had joined the war. Oops. Whilst we all know how the war ended, it wasn't so clear at the time, and for Turkey, it now faced greater pressure from both sides to pick one. And since Germany and Italy were doing very well against the Allies, Turkey needed to make sure they stayed on good terms with them. In June of 1941, Turkey and Germany signed a treaty of friendship because Inonu had what concerns that Stalin was going to act on his territorial ambitions. For Hitler, this also kept Turkey out of the war, which allowed him to turn his attention to the USSR, which he invaded only three days after the friendship treaty was signed. As you'll probably know, the invasion went really well well, then less well, then pretty badly. It was at this point that Allied pressure on Turkey was at its highest. The American president, Franklin D. Roosevelt, was content with Turkey staying out of the war, but Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister, had other plans. Churchill was convinced that the secret to success was attacking... Wait, but did it say at the start that, like, Britain was giving money to Turkey? So, like, why would it not join and help England after all the money that they was given? That makes Germany's no sense. soft underbelly, i.e. the Balkans, which he would need Turkish assistance in fighting. It wasn't until the outcome of the war was clear that Turkey opted to cease trading with Germany, and in February of 1945, Turkey declared... War. This came Bro, after talk about a sitting on the fence, the man. And UK <laughs> would help Turkey in the event of a Soviet invasion after the war. Thus, we can see that the reason Turkey stayed out of the war for as long as possible are pretty simple. Its leaders wished to spare the country the horrors of war which it had known all too well over the previous decades. There was frankly little to be gained for Turkey in joining either the Axis or the Allies, barring Fair some enough. future guarantees. Turkey's joining of the war stemmed not from wanting to get involved, but from fear of being sidelined by the international community after the war had ended. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Fair enough. Thank you for Fair watching. Enough. With extra thanks to my friends. Really, really, really good video. I enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you guys got any videos you want me to uh, react to, link them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.